This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. So we've been building out this game. And if you don't have this, ooh, I'm hitting up right now. And I can land on platforms now. Yes. Uh, you need to go back and do the other parts of this lesson. All right. I, I, let's see what we're going to add now. Collect items. Last, you'll want your player to collect the items falling from the top of the screen. Do this. Create a collect items function and add it to the functions area of your code. All right. I'm going to scroll all the way down here. And oops. And then go to functions and drop in this. I'm going to go to text real quick just to add some space so it's easier to read. Okay, and then I want to name this function collect items. All right, use an if and is touching block to change the X and Y position of the items when the player is touching them. You can look at the loop item function for clues in how to reset the item position. All right, so use an if so that's in controls. If is when we, it's a conditional where, well, we're checking a condition. We're saying, okay, computer, if something is happening, and what do we want to ask the computer? If is touching, Sprite. If Sprite is touching, so, but not Sprite, We I named my player, player, and then if is touching, Star, I'm going to have to do this for star 1 and 2. If. Yep, and I need to change the X and Y position. And then... Okay, so instead of rewriting all that, I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to highlight it and then right click, copy. You could also hit Control C and then Control V to paste or command if you're on a Mac. I'm going to go to show, show text and paste. Okay. And I need to get rid of some of this. So if I have an extra parenthesis here, oop, now it's mad at me. So that's my if statement. That's the start of it. That's the end of it. Here's another if statement starting in. Let's see what we're mad about. Oh, no, I needed that parenthesis. Because <laughs> that parenthesis is for the whole if statement. This one is just for start. Got it. And then I want, I'm going to copy this part of my code because I need it again. And I'm going to replace this stuff because this is not what I want to check. And I need if player is touching star 2, we want to reset it, okay? Let's see if I can do show blocks now. Yep, so that's, I knew the positions from the reset function we made earlier. Okay, is touching, change the position of the items. You can look at the loop item, which we did. Yep, inside the if statement, add a counter pattern that will increase the score every time, okay? So to do that, we're going to go over to variables equals now i need to go over nope i need yep for math score okay and so my score variable was named well score and then it's going to be equal to score because we want it equal to what it was before but we just want to add one to it so the computer says hey is the player touching the star if the if the computer back, comes back and says true yes it drops down and resets the star to these random positions and then it says, okay, what was score before? Maybe our score was five. It adds one to that. Score is now six. And is my player also, is my player touching star two? False. So it wouldn't run any code in here. Drops to here and then runs the rest of the code in the draw loop where we're going to run this function. So I need to put this code down here as well because I want to add one if I'm touching star two. Star two, copy, paste, perfect. Hey, that all looks good. Star two, star two, score, star, star. Great. And now we need to call it. Our functions do not run. The computer never runs that code unless we ask it to. The only stuff it runs is the stuff up here, making the variables at the top, and then the stuff in the draw loop. So to call a function to say, hey, computer, run my function, we need to write its name. And the name was collect items. Let's test this. 
out. <gasps> Wait, why did I get two points? Ah! Let's try it one more time, just to make sure everything's good. Oh, I get one instantly. Interesting. Oh, it must have spawned right there. So I got one right away because that's where the stars were spawning. Oh, this is cool. Maybe it's too easy. Where did I go? Great. All right. Um, I think we got it. So what I added... Uh, make sure you do the function call, right? I asked it to run the function right there. But this is the code that was working for me. I'm loving this game. Right here. Cool, let's uh, keep going. 